Good morning guys, I'm going to do a get ready with me today and I'm going to be doing the get ready with me but also while I explain why I stopped filming or why I kind of just took a break and started doing different videos. Um, so one thing I do want to say before we get started is that I think I found the holy grail of foundations. I found this Estee Lauder Futuristic Hydra Rescue with SPF 45 and let me tell you it is a game changer so it comes out like this looks very pretty a little fancy but what I like to do is I like to put three pumps on each side but because the sponge is super absorbent I kind of just put the rest of it on here and before I actually start patting it, I like to smear it with my finger a little bit, just like all over the place, like around my chin, pretty much the areas that I need to cover um, with the foundation. But if I just did it with the sponge, it just wouldn't have absorbed it. Put the rest on the sponge. And I'm sure you can already see a difference just like from me putting it like under my bags. <laughs> For a second, I forgot that I was supposed to be explaining why I took a little break. So the reason I took a break was because I kind of felt that it was hard to be in front of the camera all the time. And you kind of just always had to be in a good mood. And I wasn't. I was actually having really, really hard times. Um, I don't know if I posted about it here or in my other channel that I had started, but my husband got deployed for four months and I was kind of out here in California all on my own, like for the first time in general, like I've never lived alone in, in general. So he left and there was just a lot of things that I had to do and take care of on my own just regular daily things that I wouldn't have to take care of, like uh, changing a light bulb or taking out the trash and things like that. So I was going through a rough time. Next, I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear and it is in the shade DW Flawless Concealer. So it is in light warm. Another reason I stopped filming was because, or I started the other channel was because I actually kind of felt that it was therapeutic to make videos but not with my face in it. I kind of felt like I always had to have a face on this channel and I don't know, I just grew really, really tired of it and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to film. I felt really stressed out, like I always had to have something going on and then I don't know, I think everything just kind of caught up with me at once where I was trying to do this and I was trying to, you know, go through what was going on with me in my life and it got really overwhelming to the point where I kind of just shut down and didn't do anything for like a month. So I'm just going to blend this, blend the other side. Sorry, I know the light is kind of like the... This is the best place we're gonna get light. I use these disposable ones because um, I noticed that if I use the beauty blenders, um, they actually give me acne because even though I wash them, I guess maybe I just don't wash them that well enough, but I tried doing that and it just wasn't... It just wasn't working for me. So once I am done with the concealer, I'm gonna go ahead in with their powder, so Estee Lauder. And this is the light 
matte. Now, I'll warn you now, it is very, very powdery and I don't use it that much at all. In fact, like I kind of just dip it once and then it, the powder actually stays on there. It's kind of weird to explain, but like it technically already has powder on it. I didn't even have to dip it again. And I just do the top sides of my lids because um, I think the powder is really strong in my opinion or strong textured and it holds very well. Um, so I just do the top of my eyes. I don't actually do the bottom because I feel like the bottom of my eyes crease a little too much. And then it kind of just gets like a weird like crunchy type of texture that I really am not a fan of. And usually if I get anything under my eyes, I kind of just wipe it off. But then I'm going to go in with the Nude Mood by ColourPop. So basically, I guess I kind of just felt overwhelmed. I was kind of like, you know, I'm trying to do this thing called living like on my own. Like I got married and then I was kind of roommates with my husband for five months and then he got deployed for four. And he thankfully, you know, made it back for our first year anniversary. But even that came with some type of feeling because I kind of felt like man like i kind of missed out like kind of on you know the first year of marriage but i guess that's the kind of thing that you need to accept on your own because that's their job and you know i specifically i got married knowing that so you know it's just a lot of like internal emotions i guess that you really need to think about and you kind of need to put your big girl pants on and be like, you know what, this is life and you need to move forward. However, it is easier said than done because that is not how I felt at all. So I'm just gonna start by putting the color Bare to Wear. And basically that's what was going on. Like I was just feeling all types of emotions and the day that he left, I didn't even like it didn't hit me till about a month later and I got like a panic attack and I started crying you know and thankfully you know I was actually visiting my home in Vegas and my sister was there to comfort me but that just shows you how far I was pushing away I think my emotions to really accept the fact that you know he wasn't going to be here anymore and I don't know, I think it was just a really tough time. It wasn't the time for me to express like my creativity on YouTube. And you know, at this point, I still don't even know what to do with my channel. And I actually follow these YouTubers called um, Sam and JJ. I don't know if you guys know them, but I'll pop something up right here. But they are the most two lovely people that I feel I don't know they're just great and they came out with this video saying you know that they took a break from YouTube as well and I don't know like she said that she's just not gonna care anymore that she's just gonna go ahead and post what she wants to and do what she wants and whatever and when she wants to and I was like you know what like maybe that's something that I should do maybe I should just post you know and if you my lovely subscribe Ooh. If you, my lovely subscribers, like what I'm posting, then by all means keep watching, or if you're new, subscribe. But I think that's what I need to do. I think I need to let loose, you know. I've been going through a lot of different changes in my life, and some changes that I didn't want to expect, or that I didn't want to accept, and other changes where I was excited for, but I don't think I took the emotional time to really process it and be like, hey, Ashley, like, Maybe you need to take some time for yourself and really work through what's going on and not ignore it day by day, you know? So that was like another issue with me. I don't really process emotions straight away. I kind of just push it off until, you know, something happens and triggers it and then I'm like, eh. So if you didn't know that about me, now you do. Okay, so I'm literally gonna go in with my finger and I'm gonna go and get the glitter here, um, the color Wink Wink, and I like to just pat it on here. 
I love glitter, you guys. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. I started using gel liner because my friend started using it and I saw her eyeliner and I was like, damn girl, I was like, you look good. I was like, what liner are you using? And she's like, oh, I'm actually using gel liner. I was like, what? I'll tell you now, it took me a minute to learn how to use this because, I mean, I'm good, but I'm not that good. And sometimes even now, like I'll still make mistakes with this liner. Cause it's kind of just like hard to like flick the brush because you're really working with like a brush brush like elf liner like you're still it's still liquidy so you kind of can't to point it but this with this one it's a little bit more difficult and i think something that you have to accept with this eyeliner is that it's not always going to come out perfect sometimes you just have to accept that <laughs> And then it really bothers me when they don't come out the same either. But I think that's something you also have to accept with gel eyeliner. It's just like some days you have really good days and then some days you don't. But basically that's what I had been going through. I went through a first appointment. I moved away from my family. I was five months with him. He was gone for four. I was by myself. And... And I don't know, like I kind of just felt alone most of the time if I'm being honest. It was kind of hard to deal with because I'm so used to being around people or at least family, don't have many friends. But that's pretty much the process that I was going through and I think that I made it to the other side and if there's any advice that I can give anyone is be kind to yourself. I think us as people, we try so hard to be tough and we try so hard to say, you know what, I don't need help, like I am okay. But you know what, that's not the case. So the best advice that I could give is that when you feel lonely or if you feel like you need a friend or you need someone to talk to, then reach out to that friend, reach out to that family member and say, you know what, like I'm having a hard time. Like I think I need a moment to break down and I need someone there to be there with me. And I think you should do that because being crying about it or feeling like you need someone it does not make you weak if anything it makes you stronger for realizing that you need that as a person in order to grow and i don't know i wish i mean i had people tell me that but i wish i had it in person if that makes sense next i'm going in with the bye bye panda eyes this mascara is amazing and I am never going back to any other mascara. It literally, it literally is Bye Bye Panda. I had to check the time. I was like, I have to meet my friend at like 10. I'm like, what? I'm like, what time is it? So, oh yeah, I didn't mention, but like before I do my makeup, I put on Vaseline so it actually like smoothens out my lips because then I try to put lipstick on and then it's like all like, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like a little crusty, kind of. <laughs> like crusty or like chapped. It's very chapped. I look at kind of feel like anxiety because I was going to dedicate today to studying all day today. But I feel like I also need to go out. So maybe I'll only go out for like three hours maybe. And then I can come back and study. Because I made a purchase with Estee Lauder, they actually gave me this little bronzer. It's the Bronze Goddess Powder. And I'm gonna be honest, I like never use bronzer. I don't even know how to use it. So I don't know how, I'm probably not gonna use it today if I'm being honest, I'm too scared. I have to like look up a video on how to use this. Oh, and I'm using the Clinique um, Dramatically Different, oh, it's Tender Heart. That's what I'm using today. It's honestly just like a skin textured, like, or not skin textured, but like skin color. So it's not really like up the top and I use this one as my everyday. And that completes today's look. I hope you guys enjoy that makeup process and hopefully that you know, explained a little bit as to why I kind of went MIA. 
Um, I am a lot better now, so, you know, for those of you out there who are currently going through it or will go through it, just know that you can do it and it'll be okay. So, so I am going to go ahead and put some shoes on and then head out. Um, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and keep watching, I'm going to go ahead and give some previews of me going out with my friend today. But if not, I just want to say thank you for watching this far and listening as to, you know, what happened and what was going on. So, thank you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>